Welcome to UOIT's Teaching and Learning Center's tutorial on viewing and submitting assignments in Turnitin. This is one screencast in a series of tutorials designed to help you use Turnitin by viewing submitted assignments or by submitting assignments yourself. So let's get started. I'm going to log in with my email address and password. And then I'm taken to my instructor home page where I can see all of the classes that I have set up. One of the things that you can do in Turnitin is change yourself from an instructor to a student so that you can see what your students see. We're going to work with ABCD class 1 and I'm going to change from instructor and select student. So now it's as if a student has logged in with their email address and password in to turn it in. They will also see from their student homepage a list of the classes that they have joined. So in this case, there are no classes that they've joined and we're going to select enroll in a class. And we're going to have this student enroll in that class, the ABCD class. Remember, there's a section ID that goes with that class that you will have given to the students, along with a password, which we made simple in one of the other tutorials. The students then click on Submit, and they are now enrolled in the class. They select the class, and now they see the assignment that's been set up with the name of the assignment, when it starts, when it's due, and the status. They can also look at the show details to see more information about the assignment, including the please allow 24 hours for resubmitted assignment reports to generate. Now this student is ready to submit their assignment. They click on the submit button and they're given two options for submissions. One is a single file upload and the other is a cut and paste upload. With a single file upload, they provide their name, the title of their paper, and then they browse through the file system to find their paper. Click the button for upload. It takes a few minutes for the submission to happen. And then they're given a um, review page that tells them that they have now, uh, they're now ready to submit this paper. So they now click Submit yet one more time. They can look to see if they have the right paper. And two things happen once they've clicked the Submit button. One is that they will have confirmation that the submission was successful, and the other is that they will receive an email to tell them that they have submitted the paper. This is all important to them because they need this information, the paper ID, in case something goes wrong, which is highly unlikely. But they're able to tell you this paper ID and you can do a search for the, for the paper. Once they go back to their portfolio or to their home page, you'll notice that the submission for this assignment is now complete. This is from the student's point of view. Let's have a look at it now from your perspective as the instructor. By clicking and changing over from student to instructor, we're taken back to the instructor home page where we can now have a look at this class and notice that the paper is there. And we have two options to uh, select here. One is the view, which allows us to see the originality reports, and the other is more actions, which allows us to edit settings, delete an assignment, or submit a paper ourselves. We're going to look at the view button in the next tutorial on viewing the originality report. I'll take us back to the class home page and let's look at how you would submit a paper for a student. So you click on the submit button, and you're taken to a, a screen that looks very similar to what the students saw, only you have a couple of extra options. You can still do a single file upload, a cut and paste upload, but you can also do a multiple file upload or a zip file upload. 
By doing a multiple file upload, you're asked for the actual papers one at a time. This could be quite tedious if you had several papers to submit. So the bet better way to do this is to zip the papers into a zip file and do a zip file upload. Turnitin gives you all the information that you need to know about what the requirements are for a zip file and then you just browse your local system for the zip file and click on upload. Turnitin does all the rest of the work for you in that it will unzip the papers and um, set them up in the uh, originality reports. I'm going to show you the cut and paste method and notice that you still do the same thing. You give it an, your name, the submission title, cut and paste paper, and then you can cut and paste text from your paper. So I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to come back to this window here and tell it to paste. And then upload. Tells me that it's uh, being processed. There'll be a digital record, which is this, and the paper ID that goes along with it. This concludes our tutorial on viewing and submitting assignments. Thank you for watching.